Luddite residents and friends of social media, Lieutenant Mobilio here from the Luddite Police Department, and welcome to Episode 2 of the Lodi Show. If you missed Episode 1, you can go on the Burroughs YouTube channel and check it out with Mr. Jimmy Scalia talking about Lodi and Bobby Darren. Well, today, we're joined here by Lodi resident Jeff Lavender. The special thing about Jeff is that during this whole coronavirus, he started up his own food pantry. And we want to talk about his actions within the borough of Lodi with regards to his food pantry. Hello, Jeff, and welcome. Hello. How are you How doing are you? today? Pretty good. Now, before we even get started with the questions, I know that you were not originally from Lodi. That's correct. So you're a Lodi transplant. That's correct. So where are you originally from? I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. I grew up in Coney Island. Um, throughout the years after um, going to school and moving on with my life, I opened up a couple pizzerias in Brooklyn, and um, business was wonderful. Then I got pretty sick, and I had to decide to close down the stores, and I decided to come out to Lodi for a change, and I ended up here. So uh, how long have you actually been living in Lodi? I've been here five years. Five and years. It's been the most best five years of my life that I've had that I could ever say. I met some amazing people and um, I joined some amazing organizations and doing a lot of stuff for the community. And it's been the, the best move I have ever did in my life. Good. Very good. A shout out to Brooklyn, New York. From, shout out. Uh, from Lodi, New Jersey. All right, so Jeff, let's get into a couple of the questions about uh, your food sure. pantry. So you've been very active these past few months since the coronavirus has taken grip of this borough of Lodi, not to mention the country. What have you been up to? What I've been up to, um, basically I've seen what was going on and then seen how many people were basically needing food. And the food pantries that were all around us were being overwhelmed and people were being turned away and they weren't getting any of the services they could use. So I just decided one day to say, hey, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this happen. So I started to go out and buy stuff and get stuff donated from the residents and from the people in town and then other corporations and other com um, companies. And um, I decided to say, I'm going to start up something. I was originally working with um, New Jersey Food, Clothing and Rescue and they were helping me at a time when I needed some assistance and I just figured, you know what, I might as well just keep on doing this and make it happen something special for Lodi. And it was brought to my attention from people from Lodi, uh, why don't you start up your own food pantry since you've been doing this for a while and um, you, you enjoy helping as many as you can. Right. So I went to the next step, and we des I decided to uh, start up American Eagle Food Pantry for Northern New Jersey for Lodi. So the American uh, American Eagle Food Pantry that is your own is that your own company or That's is correct. that it's a five hundred one c three nonprofit account, and uh, it's all basically on donations. No, no one makes a dollar. No one takes in a cent. All our proceeds that would come in go right back to the organization to buy more food and buy more supplies for the family. So that was basically my next question. What's your what's your mission within the borough of Lodi? Well, my, my mission is to make it a, a much better place for the people that really need the assistance that are not getting the help. A lot of people are embarrassed and they are, don't want to come out and they don't want to say anything about it. So they stay at home and they, they literally cry about it and they can't get out and they don't know who to talk to and then they call up this food pantry and they have to get denied. I don't want to hear that. If you're hungry, we are going to help you. We are here to help anyone that needs the help. Sounds great. So Jeff, about how many families have you helped out including, I know you're very active with uh, helping out the senior citizens with supplying with them with food and essential foods. About right. how many? Well I would say as of right now we're up to over 5,000 families. No, within the borough of Lodi itself? Borough of Lodi, we're at about 40, I would say about 4,200 families. Really? Yeah. 
Okay. You know, I mean, we, we, we go to every complex, we go to every housing complex, we go around town to the houses, and we just put out the food. And uh, we also have outreaches where people either come to us and we give out other items. So this all came about during the coronavirus, is that correct? That's correct. So once the, God willing, once the virus is over and it's ended, will this program continue on where you're, you're out there still helping the yes. citizens of Yes, I plan on continuing my services, but I also would like to get into something about how it all started more, because it wasn't only about me. It was about our community. It was about the Chambers of Commerce. It was about the Mayor of Council. It was about the Vote IPD. It was about the old timers that allowed me to use the old timer, the uh, snack stand, and the the clubhouse to set up as a pantry. I could not have done this without everyone's help, and we would not be where we are without everyone's support that we are still getting. And it's important to me that everyone knows that it's not about me. It's about the community. It's about the, everyone helping together. It's about the volunteers and everyone just coming together. So, Jeff, if someone would like to make a donation to your organization, how does someone go about doing so? There's a several different ways. They could either um, send it to a P.O. box. It could be a check, which is P.O. box 16, 07644. It's an American Eagle Food Pantry of Northern New Jersey. Um, if they want to set up a, uh, send in a Venmo, we have a Venmo account set up. We also have um, a location where you can drop off non-perishable items. We also take clothing, furniture, anything that you're looking to get rid of. Even if you can't use it, there are others out there that I can guarantee you need it and could be benefit for them and their families. Absolutely. Um, how about uh, volunteerism? Are you looking for volunteers to help yes. out? Yes, I'm looking for volunteers. I'm always looking for volunteers. We have a sign-up sheet. We have locations where you could come to and you could either sign up or you could call my phone number, which I have it on my, on my, on my waist at all times. Uh, any questions about volunteering, feel free. We're looking for the residents and their families to come out. It's all about everyone. The children are welcome as well. Everyone's involvement is important. Now, I know you mentioned just before we, we started the, this interview, you mentioned something about that, um, I guess, students that are in need of uh, volunteer time. Right. Can... If students need some service credits and they want to like to come down and give us a hand and volunteering, you know, we'll sign off on your time. As long as you're there doing their work and showing that you you know, you're giving it your 100%. I have no problem signing at all. Um, right now we have, I would say about 15 volunteers that are 100% dedicated. But then we have also about 45 other people that are available when they're available on their, on their time schedules. And um, the, the children we have now helping out, they're pretty much helping run the stand that we have set up, they have, they make up the bags, they basically, I could leave, like right now, I'm here, and they're over there getting set up for today's outreach that we have. Um, if you want to volunteer, please do so. Come on out, give us a hand, contact me. You can contact me on Facebook. We have a Facebook page. Um, American Eagle Food Pantry of Northern New Jersey. We also have a website that's set up as well. If you need assistance and you need help, all you have to do is go to our website and or our Facebook page, click the application, it's in Spanish or in English, and we are here to help anyone that's in need, doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter where you're from, if you need it, we're here. Right. And um, you, also, you also mentioned a little bit, that was my next question, but you also mentioned it a little bit in the, uh, in the past talked about uh, people getting involved that they don't have to uh, give their names. Are they able to remain anonymous if they need? If you want to remain email? anonymous, all you got to do is call my cell phone. It stays between me and you, and I will make sure I bring this stuff to you personally myself, or we will make up the time where you could come and meet me alone. Nothing has to be said. Your picture don't have to be taken. I want everyone just to feel comfortable. 
We're all, we are all in this together. We are a family. We're all supposed to be here to help each other. Right. This Absolutely. violence has got to stop. This is how it's supposed to be. Everyone coming together and to helping each other. Absolutely. Just a little bit about about you yourself. I, I know I understand that you're involved in a couple of the organizations within the, the Borough of Lodi. That's correct. You're a member of the Lodi of Chamber of Commerce, and I, I believe you're a big big shot member of the uh, Lodi Moose Lodge. Yeah. Can you elaborate correct. a little bit about about those uh, sure. two organizations? Chambers of Commerce. I'm a, I'm part of them. At, yes. I um, I have, have a business now. And it's a nonprofit, and the Chambers of Commerce is it's an amazing asset. They help us out a lot. James himself has a lot of advice, and he's been helping me throughout the, the terms and uh, giving me the advice on the right way to go forward with everything. And it's been amazing. And the Chambers has my back in you know, like every way. If I reach out to them, I need help, they're there for me. Um, the Lodi Moose Lodge. I've been with them now for five years. It's amazing. I love them. It's one big happy family. It's a community service again. It's about taking care of our seniors and our children and our residents and the children with the scholarships. We do everything to help the community. Absolutely. And that's what it's all about: coming together and helping the community. Absolutely. I was just uh, I just took on the honor of becoming the junior governor at the Lodi Moose Lodge. And as well, on that. thank you very much. Yes, and as well as opening up this organization, very so nice. it's um, it's been two big steps right now for me. Uh, me personally, I'm disabled. I'm permanently disabled. Um, I had a lot of health issues. I used to be over 500 pounds. I almost died a couple times. And um, from that happening to me, it made me change everything and change my outlook in life. And that's why we are where we are right now. Otherwise, I wouldn't be. That's great. Because um, the guys at the Lodi Moose Lodge were there for me as my family. And they were supporting me even when I wasn't going to make it last year. And things weren't looking good. They took my back. They had me 100%. And they became my family to support me. And... I will not stop doing my community service. I will not be stopped doing what I do. I am an Eagle Scout. Um, I've been doing community service and helping out the families and doing what I do since I'm a little boy, since I'm 10 years old. Well, that's, that's, that's great, Jeff. I mean, that, that's really nice to know that you're, you're also involved in the community here, besides just doing what you do with the Plus pantry. the Little League as well. You know, I'm, I'm an all-around man, all over helping out as one, anyone I can. Great. So, as you can see, Jeff's brought some of his wares here that they uh, they sell. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about this here. How how does somebody go about getting uh, getting these shirts? And I see you have uh, some masks. So okay, how, how so you... we have a few different things going on. We have different kind of shirts. We have Lodi Strong shirts, just Lodi Strong. Uh, we have we are Lodi Strong. Don't forget. Yes, Lodi Strong, one hundred percent. But then we also have our food pantry shirts for support. All the proceeds that go from these shirts and for these masks go right back to the organization to sponsor and buy more food and buy more stuff that we need and supplies. Uh, basically, it goes to feeding our community. Uh, these right here are special. Look. These we just had specially made. And these are for breast cancer awareness. And they're $10 a mask. 50% will come to the organization to go towards our fundings, and 50% will go towards Hackensack Cancer Ward for the children. And um, that will be starting today. And then you have the regular uh, American Eagle Food Pantry mask. Correct. It says Lodi Strong on it. Um, and these are also $10? Also bucks? The $10. And the shirts are how much? The shirts are $15 and um, two for $25. If you need larger sizes, they're twenty dollars a shirt, okay. um, and they're available through calling me on my phone, messaging me on Facebook, or going on our Facebook page and messaging us. Uh, we have been set up in front of um, Mavado Hair Salon, and uh, we've been 
doing ourselves over there. So that's actually was going to be my, my next question to you. So I know Cheryl Potozak from uh, Mavita Salon Mavita. on South Main Street has been uh, kind enough to let you set up shop outside her salon to sell your items. Um, but if you're not there, where will you be and uh, when will you be out there? Okay, um, I plan on being out there again on Saturday. Where? At Mavita's? Mavita's. All right, so sat this Saturday, which is July 4th. Right. Uh, oh, no, no, excuse me, July 4th I will not be out there. Okay. So um, we're going to have to push now until Monday. Monday will be our next day out. Okay, and where would you be? By my, by Mavitas? Um, I'm trying to set up two locations okay. for Monday. I'm trying to set up for Mavitas, and I'm also trying to set up for Johnny Napkins Pizzeria, and which we already got the permission to do so. And Johnny Napkins is over there on Main Street, Main right Street. across the street from Shopway. That's correct. So. You'll be out there selling your goods right. Monday right. by Mavita's on South Main Street, Mavita's Salon, and then you're going to try to be by Johnny Napkins, which is right across the street from ShopRite on Main Street by the TD Bank and 7-Eleven. Um, so all the proceeds from the show, I know we, we spoke about the breast yep. cancer mask, yep. uh, half of it goes to Hackensack University Medical Center for their cancer award, and the, um, but the mask, this pantry mask and the t-shirts, where did the proceeds go? They all come to American Eagle Food Pantry to buy more supplies and more food for our residents of Lodi and to help the families. And it also goes to basically, we're trying to find a headquarters right now. Okay, that was going to be my next question. I, you yeah. already said that you've been using the Old Timers Club right. for some of your storage and right. where else are you? Well, what's happening, you know, se you know season's coming back. Baseball every, season. Every, yeah. So the location is going to be uh, given back to the old timers, and we thank you very, very much from the bottom of our hearts for letting us use it. It was a, it, it was amazing just to have the relaxation and the, not the stress to worry about that I'm working at a hundred different locations to try to get things done. Um, right now we're going to be using their snack stand until we find the headquarters. Um, so and that headquarters is going to be within the borough of Lodi? If we could find a place. Basically what we're looking for is um, more or less a big enough space where we could set up a pantry where people could come, make pickups weekly, and have enough storage, refrigeration, freezer space. Um, we need something basically as a tax write-off. Um, as a donation towards the location, towards, towards our organization. Because our fundings right now are not that well, and it has to be built up before we could say we could rent something. Um, basically, whatever fundings that come in from here, from our shirts, from anything that we do do, or the donations that come in that anyone makes, what we'll, we'll goes into an account, and all those proceeds and those fundings are going to be going to you to pay overhead expenses. Anywhere we find a location, you're going to have overhead expenses, so those are going to have to be covered. So things like that, that's why we're looking for sponsors to help sponsor us monthly so we could build our organization. Uh, we're trying to stay in Lodi. So if someone from Lodi should have a uh, an old office building or a storefront or a... Um, a warehouse or something that's not being used and it's sitting there for a long time and it's not going to any good, you might as well just, if you can, donate it to us because it will go towards a good reason to have the pantry on Lodi. Right, right. You, you might, mentioned the, about St. Francis Church. Is that uh, a possibility It's there, a possibility, or? but right now it's on hold because uh, stuff, something with their... Their board of directors, they have changed someone in their um, parish, and that's been on hold right now and until so further notice. You're looking for you're looking for a general area. I'm looking for something for. general area, and I'm looking for something permanent that we don't have to move back and forth, back and forth. I'm looking for something that's big enough space where all the volunteers could come. We could, you know, do it in a safely manner, of course, right. and. Um, Oh, set up and we make up the bags. Just like for Friday, we have something, a big outreach going on. And where is that going to be? Right now, we're going to be doing it at the snack stand at 72 Church Street by the ball field. Oh, by the Old Timers Club. At the Old Timers okay. Club. It's going to start at um, 6 o'clock. 
uh, and it's going to go from six o'clock to uh, eight o'clock. Six o'clock at night to six uh, to eight o'clock at night. Yes. Okay. And this is going to be this coming Friday. This July Friday. 3rd. Okay. So it's going to be a, a basically hot and cold food, and you'll also get a separate bag with water, snack, a fruit. And um, also some uh, produce. So if you're someone in need, uh, you can reach out to Jeff uh, for the outreach on Friday, which would be July 3rd. Go to the Old Timers Club there, and they'll, they'll help you out with some food and, and some snack bags, I guess you're... We're going to have enough food for about um, a good 300 to 500 people. So if you're so in need... If you need it, let me know. Uh, just a, a couple of quick questions before we go, Jeff. You, you mentioned Facebook. Do you have any other? Do you have a website, a regular website, where, or is everything is done on? Well, it's uh, it's through a Google website right now, so it's not www, but I'm working on setting that one up. So right now, their best way to get a hold of you is either it's, on your cell phone, right, or on cell Facebook. Cell phone or Facebook. Because if you go to Facebook, there's a link there for our website. Okay. Click on that link, and that will take you to that that website. And then you'll see that basically an idea of what we're doing and how it, how it's done. The application is there. As soon as you go on to our Facebook page, it's going to show you the application. Fill out the application, and you can get the services. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's going to conclude, Jeff. I just want to thank you. I think what you're doing is is fantastic within the borough. Uh, I hope that the people that are in need here in the borough are going to take you up on what you have to offer and. Uh, I think it's a great thing, and, and we're, we're, we're proud to have you, and, and that's why we have you here today. So um, do you have anything planned next? I mean, besides the outreach on Friday, you have yes, anything? Yes, I have a lot planned right now. Oh, great. Um, okay, great. We, we have a lot planned. We are, our, our goal, basically, right now is to be, be, be the best we could all be, and every day is more and more. Every day we are serving families. So. Like tomorrow, I have 15, 20 personal bags going out, besides our 500 bags that we have tomorrow. So every day we have stuff happening. Every day stuff is being brought into us. Every day stuff is coming, being donated. You know, that's like another thing real fast. We need headquarters because if we don't have headquarters, every time people offer me stuff, I have to pass that on to another organization or I have to basically say I can't take it. And we're getting offered a lot of stuff at a lot of times. And this is more food for our residents, more food for our families to help out. So basically, I just need everyone to come together and make this happen for not only me, but for American Eagle Food Pantry and for you as well as a community. Thank you. Thank and I'd like Jeff. to say thank you very much to Lieutenant Mobilio and his crew for having me out, out here and allowing me to... Um, publish our organization. Thank Again, you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for everything you do. All right, Lodi. Stay safe. Stay Lodi strong. God bless. Thank you and have a great day. See you soon.